Hi, I'm Chris Marola, a millimeter wave engineer here at Militech, and today I'm going to talk to you about our new Spartan test modules. These modules are a low cost alternative that allow you to take measurements at either E or V band using a VNA that you probably already have in your lab. This VNA only has to operate up to 10 gigahertz, and our modules allow you to take measurements at either V between 54 and 69 gigahertz or E-band between 68 and 90 gigahertz. One advantage of using a low frequency VNA is it allows you to use lower cost cables. Our Spartan test modules offer a high dynamic range and allow you to take both amplitude and phase measurements. Today I'll use our E-band test set, the Spartan 12 module, in order to demonstrate how to take both insertion loss, S21 measurements, and return loss, S11 measurements. To set up testing with the Spartan, we've attached it to our vector network analyzer. The setup uses two ports. We're driving the input from port 1 and have port 2 connected to the output of the Spartan receive module. The third cable in the setup connects the two modules. Because the system runs at 10 GHz or less, all of the cable runs can be done with relatively inexpensive SMA cables. Let's start by calibrating the Spartan. We'll connect the source and receive modules, then tighten the waveguide screws. To calibrate the system, we're going to use a MES minus MEM cal. First, we're going to save the data to memory, then we're going to push data over memory to zero out the system. Now that we have the system calibrated, we're going to demonstrate measuring the insertion loss of this WR12 diplexer, which has a low band of 71 to 76 gigahertz and a high band of 81 to 86 gigahertz. We've added a 1-inch piece of waveguide to the diplexer just to make the setup assembly easier. We'll be measuring the insertion loss of the input port to the low frequency channel. Once we terminate the unused port on the diplexer, we'll be ready to make our insertion loss measurements on the network analyzer. Here we can see the passband of the diplexer's low frequency channel. This channel covers 71 to 76 GHz. Because the Spartan test modules use a times 9 multiplication factor, this corresponds to 7.9 GHz around here to 8.4 GHz on the network analyzer display. For this test, we've reconfigured the setup. We've put the Spartan source module on the high frequency port of the diplexer and have terminated the low frequency port. Now let's take a look at the measurement on the VNA. We are now measuring the insertion loss performance of the diplexer's high frequency channel. And we can see that the noise floor of our test setup is around 60 to 70 dB down. Now we'll demonstrate how to take an S11 measurement using the Spartan. Because the Spartan modules require a two-port measurement from the network analyzer, the network analyzer is still going to be set up to perform an S21 measurement. We'll use this high directivity directional coupler in our test setup in order to take an S11 measurement. First, we'll connect the directional coupler to the source module of the Spartan. Then, we'll connect the receive module to the coupled port. To calibrate our S11 measurement, we'll put a shorting plate on the output of the coupler. Then we'll zero out our test setup. This procedure is the same as when we took the S21 measurement. We'll commit the data to memory, and then we'll use the data over memory function to zero out the system. Now that the system is calibrated, we'll remove the short from the output port of the directional coupler. We'll put terminations on both of the waveguide output ports of the diplexer. Then, connect the center port of the diplexer to the output port of the directional coupler. This will allow us to measure the return loss of the input center port of the diplexer. Looking at the return loss of the diplexer, we see lower reflection within our low band 
and our high band. Almost all of the input power is being reflected down at the low end, at the high end, and the rejection band in the middle. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Militech's Spartan test module. We hope you found it informative. For more information on the Spartan family of products for E-band and V-band testing, or to request a quote, please go to www.militech.com or contact Militech's sales department.